Vision International Ministries. It's your host, Avery Jade. And I'm your co-host, Amber Nicole. Welcome to this week's edition of In The Mix. Calling all ladies between the ages of 21 and 34. Infusion Women's Ministry will host their monthly meeting Saturday, April 26th, and you are invited. In this ministry, you never know what God is up to, so rest assured it will be fun, engaging, and most of all, you're amongst your peers who are phenomenal women of God. The meeting will take place in the community room, again, April 26th at 1.30 to 3.30 p.m. Any questions, comments, or concerns shall be directed to Lady Sharon or get tech savvy and visit our homepage. The Life Women's Ministry will unite in a warm gathering Sunday, April 27th in the sanctuary. All members are expected to join. Members will join together promptly at 1 p.m. to discuss an array of topics while seeking direction from the Lord. For more information, contact Linda Ferguson or visit our website. Enough with the lady talk. Where are all the men? All the brothers of New Vision, make some noise. Now, fellas, you two have a day of empowerment coming up. You'll come together for prayer, fellowship, encouragement, great conversation, a wonderful meal, but most importantly, to share love. So, brothers, make some noise again. Okay, good. Everyone who just made noise is now mandated to report to New Vision Saturday, April 26th at 9 a.m. for the men's breakfast. For more information, contact Anthony Hyde or visit NVIM.org. Calling all new members to come out and learn the history, mission, and vision of New Vision International Ministries from Bishop and Lady Sharon. New members must attend both classes. Sign up for classes in the vestibule outside the sanctuary today after service. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to visit our website or contact Mary Winston for more information. Well, Procurement Workshop Series will take place three Thursdays in May, discussing topics such as ways to find capital and reach financial stability, learning state and federal set-aside programs, and registering for businesses in the city of Bridgeport. They will also discuss contract terminology. As you can see, this seminar is filled with endless knowledge and opportunities to get your business off the ground and running. To register, contact Lisa Powell or visit our website. Save the date, New Vision, Saturday, July 26th, New Vision will host its annual community cleanup day and would like your participation. Please prepare to get down and dirty for God's children on the south end of Bridgeport. This day is filled with smiles, laughs, and a great appreciation as you do the work of the kingdom. So please save the date. On your mark, get set, and join New Vision International Ministries for the 11th annual Whittingham Cancer Center Walk and Sally's Run on Saturday, April 26th. Created by Grateful Patients in 2004, this community-driven event has grown in size and spirit and raised nearly $2.5 million for patient services provided at the Whittingham Cancer Center. The 3K walk and 5K run will start and end at the Calf Pasture Beach with more than 2,500 participants from Fairfield County turning out to support, celebrate, and remember all those fighting cancer as well as all those that we have lost to this disease. This event carries special meaning for us at New Vision as our own brother, Marcus 69 Robinson, lost his son at the age of 16 to this disease. But God led him to run this race, and ever since, he has been running it. So New Vision, lace your sneakers and get ready to run while you match your actions to your faith. Contact Marcus Robinson for more information or visit our website. Bishop forgot to tell us something about prayer. And that, my friend, is that New Vision will host a National Day of Prayer Thursday, May 1st from 6 to 8 p.m. This intergenerational prayer gathering allows one voice for all saints to call on the name of the Lord, asking for His presence to reign. All generations, young and old, will unite to proclaim God's word in prayer, praise, worship, dance, stepping, and rap. Again, May 1st, intergenerational prayer here at New Vision. Tell a friend and tell a friend. Also, here are some other exciting things going on at New Vision. It can't be said enough, Bishop and Lady Sharon will celebrate 50 years of life on May 31st at the Stanford Marriott Hotel from 6 to 11 p.m. If you have been planning to pick up your tickets, the time is winding down. Tickets are on sale and payment plans are accepted. Contact Marie Robinson or purchase your tickets at nbim.org.
segments that you would like for us to air, click on the NVIM News Request form on the home page of our website. The weekly deadline is Sunday by 5 p.m., and approved submissions are guaranteed to run two weeks after your submission. It is impossible to be out of the loop as long as you are in the mix. Remember, love God, love people, and do the work of the kingdom. KB2 means a lot to me. She's been here from the beginning. She's been rooted and grounded in this ministry. She has a wealth of knowledge. And as a matter of fact, she has two books that should be coming out hopefully soon, which will give us some of her knowledge. 150 questions that you need to ask a man and a woman. Can't wait till those come out. And this is a big shout out to you. We appreciate you, KB. Lots of love. Yeah. If Zara was here, he said, What's up? A mighty woman of God. She has truly followed God. She has taught us how to see beyond what our eyes see. Every time I think, we call her over the top. Sometimes she just thinks over the top. And whenever she's thinking, whatever she's thinking, she's always on point. So I just want to say, Kay, I love you. Thank you for being you. KB, um, she has meant a lot. Excellence. Um, prayer intercessor. Um, she's a blessing. She's always um, trying to outdo me. As you see, we're over here in front of Miss Rainey's, and she loves rice bowls but a certain way. I just want you to know that you are the best administrator in the universe. Yep, the universe. Um, because you work in excellence, you always have the heart of God when you're doing um, what you're doing. You're an example, and you always allow us to think outside the box with creativity, excellence, and being in order. You are the bond, KB. KB2 is like the heart to the body. It keeps all the blood flowing to all the vital organs and everything in the body. It keeps the body functioning. Without the heart, the body can't live. And KB2 is just like that. She keeps our bishop of time on task. I mean, she's an administrator's administrator. And without her, the ministry would just be crazy. We just love you. We thank God for you being here. And <laughs> you know, I got to quit thinking about all of the crazy stuff that happens. But thank you for being an administrator here at New Hey, Vision. KB2, Karen P. Briggs, how are you? I am going to talk about what you mean to New Vision, and then I'm going to talk about what you mean to me personally. For the ministry, you echo the heart and the heartbeat of your pastor. You are an administrator extraordinaire. You are gifted to be an administrator, and you have the patience of Job. I have seen people approach you. I have seen people kind of just bombard you. I have seen people be disrespectful to you, and not once did you retaliate back. That speaks volumes to your character to both meet people via phone and in person. So I appreciate you and I think you represent this ministry well. In fact, I know you do because people tell me when we are in travel that Karen, who is KB2? She is such a nice person. She was so helpful. She was so professional. I mean, you, she, they talk about you like you just would not believe. And you know, somebody who we won't mention the name was trying to snatch you, but I was like, ah, eh, eh, nope, not happening. So anyway, I love you. Blessings. Happy Administrative Day. Mwah. We love you, KB2! KB, we love you and we appreciate you. Karen has been Peace. a constant fixture of New Vision since I got involved with the ministry back in 2005. She was the first person that I had to go to in order to build my relationship with bishops. Over the years, our relationship grew initially through correspondence and then once I got to know KB2 and work alongside her in ministry, she's been a constant source of encouragement. She's a very encouraging person. Um, she always knows when to um, when to lift your spirits. Um, she's been the mint lady, meaning that we can go into her office and get mints whenever we need them. And recently, she upgraded her stash of mints to include fruits, like you know the lifesavers, the fruity type, not just the mint type. So we want to thank you for that because that's been an added blessing and benefit to this ministry. But with all seriousness, she's the glue that holds the bishop's schedule together. She makes sure that information gets to him, that he's informed, that he's prepared when he goes out to important meetings with government um, and the city and other bishops and pastors. And Karen, we love you. You're indispensable. You're indispensable. I mean, you are, you know, you represent New Vision well. Every way from the voice message when people call to the smiling face that you share whenever people come 
to meet with Bishop. So we love you. Happy Administrator's Day. KB2, you mean to me um, banana cream cheesecake. <laughs> um, you mean to me um, an awesome example of servitude, uh, a servant's heart, um, a, a lot of the work um, and, and not a lot of the glory, um, but done with a smile and a heart of service. Uh, you mean genuine love. Um, support, ultimate support for your bishop and his family, um, late nights, um, and dedication. I pray that you know that you are loved and appreciated and that, um, that God sees everything that you do and your reward is great in heaven and I pray that it is also great here. Okay, I know it's not your birthday, but it's just like having a birthday. So I just want to give you a shout out and say, Happy Administration Day. Love you. Hey, what a day. Administrator Professional Day. That's all you. Administrator, you are professional. You are. And the day, well, this is the day that the Lord has made. Girl, you know I love you for years now. My office, your office, you, Brenda, have worked together to make my life easy. And I salute you today, and I say happy Administrative Professional Day, whatever it is, Professional Administrative Day, just happy everything day. I love you, and I appreciate you forever. Here's a big hug from me to you. New Vision, you are blessed to have this woman of God serving you in this administrative capacity. And again, I salute you. We love you, baby, too. KB2 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 KB What can we say about you? KB2 What can we say about you? But that we love you We appreciate you We're just so um, appreciative of actually Being able to say thank you today To you Thank you KB for all the hard work that you put in Your effort Your words of kindness And your work there's no one like KB. Two. 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 <laughs> one. KB two. two. KB two. <laughs> we love two. you. We appreciate two. you. <laughs> and we thank God for you, KB. We love you. And God bless you and continue to give you strength to be a blessing to the body of Christ. KB two. KB two. KB two. KB two. KB two. We love you. We love you. God bless you. Bye. Bye-bye.